What's going on guys, it's j Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I want to talk to you guys about what's coming up next in Destiny. So a lot of people have been playing other games recently and Destiny's been a little bit slow and a little bit stale lately for a lot of players and that's understandable because there hasn't been a much new content since the big release of the Taken King. We've had a few new things come out along the way here and there to keep us occupied but overall a lot of people have pretty much exhausted the majority of the content of this most current expansion of Destiny. So there are other things to look forward to though within the next few weeks of Destiny. So I'm going to get into it. So first up we got the major update coming this month in December. The December update is what they're referring to it as. And within it there's going to be a lot of new stuff. We got a lot of new exotics coming into the game which is going to change the game a lot. We got a lot of year 1 exotics that are making it into year 2 in this next update. We got weapon balancing coming in this next update as well and there's going to be a lot of changes which is going to change the meta a lot in Crucible so that's something we can look forward to as well and they also talk about how Titans are going to be changing coming in this next patch as well so that's something we can look forward to the details aren't yet released but they're going to update us and this update is going to be coming out hopefully next week Tuesday with the reset at the earliest if everything goes as planned so that's some exciting stuff to look forward to and it's not something really big but it's still stuff to look forward to also this week we had challenge mode which entered the game finally and it was kind of a surprise nobody expected it to come but challenge mode is actually getting a lot of controversy right now in terms of the difficulty um, I don't really have an opinion on it I the best thing I have to share with you guys about challenge mode is the fact that it is very rewarding. That is the bottom line, a best part about challenge mode right now for me. I think that is something really good that they brought into the raid with challenge mode. I think that is something that the raid has been lacking. That's why for the past months that it's been out. So I think that's really good. I think challenge mode is definitely reviving it. A lot of people want it to be more difficult. We have the War Priest this week for the first challenge and I'm guessing that Gogoroth and Oryx are going to definitely be a lot harder than what the War Priest had to present to us this week. But um, a lot of people think that it's too easy. Some people think it's fine. It's pretty much the elite players or the hardcore players versus the casual players. And that's going to happen in every game and I don't really have an opinion on it even though I'm more toward the hardcore player base just because I play this game a decent amount. And I don't want to say it's too easy or too difficult. I just want the bottom line to be based on the loot that we get from completing it and I think that's really good. I think they definitely did well on this part of the raid so I'm excited to see what comes next in the coming weeks with Gogoroth and Oryx. And I can't wait to get some 320 loot so I can improve my character and still make progress within the game. So that's really exciting. And then lastly, I want to briefly talk about what's coming up in the more distant future for Destiny. We have the PlayStation Experience event this weekend and Bungie said they're going to be there. And so we're assuming they're going to make an announcement about something regarding the future of Destiny. And my guess is that they're going to be announcing a new DLC Many, many months ago, probably at the beginning of this year or maybe even later last year, um, we got a leaked image of the future content of Destiny within like the first couple years of Destiny's lifespan. And within it, it showed us the two expansions that we already had, Dark Below and House of Wolves, after the base game dropped. Then it showed us the Comet Plague of Darkness, which was the code name for Taken King. And then there were also a couple more expansions after that. And within that, I think one of those expansions are going to be coming out within the next month or two, probably, in my opinion. So I think that's something that they're going to be announcing a new DLC, and it's really exciting. I'm really excited for new content. Everyone's excited for new content. It's been a long time since we've seen a lot of new stuff in the game since Taking King. Um, so I'm really excited to see what they do next with Destiny and it's pretty good So hopefully we get to see something new like maybe a new trailer or something this weekend And we can get more hype and more excited for what's coming out next for Destiny So that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching as always Let me know what you guys think about all the stuff that I talked about in this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one Peace